Okay, here's the next thing I want you to know about Classcraft. So you've got a lot of buttons here. This top one, Character Dashboard, shows your avatar, uh, shows how much health points you have, action points, experience points, and gold pieces. It also shows you what power you selected. In order to get more powers, you have to level up. And in order to level up, you're going to get random events that are going to happen throughout the week. Um, and those might give you XP, they might give you gold, they might cause damage, or they might have you do something um, kind of fun and quirky. Uh, the other way to get XP and gold is do your quests, do assignments, uh, work hard, and you will level up. Boom. So if I uh, know one of my teammates took damage, and they have to be in your team for you to be able to use your power, I click on Protect, and if I go to Delayed Damage queue, I should see their name there. So I don't have a name there, so there's nobody to protect. Same thing with healers. Click on your Heal 1, see if anybody needs healing. Mages, click on your Mana Transfer, see if anybody needs AP. So that's, that's how you use your dashboard. Um, and if you ever fall, pledge is something you will have to do in order to uh, make up for going down to zero health. Now remember, if you ever fall, like take too much damage and, and you don't get protected or you don't get healed fast enough, everyone in your team takes an extra 10 damage. So be careful. Don't let anybody in your team fall. Now, this, this one's really important. I want to point out this messaging one. If it has a green dot, check it. Because what that means is, look, there's a green dot there. There's a class announcement. Read your class announcements because those are messages from me to everyone in the cohort. And if you want to respond, you just have to go here to sixth grade and respond to Mr. Gonzalez. Hey, Mr. G, I get it and I'm off to a great start. Boom. Now, when you send me a message, let me go back to my account. Here. I go here and look, I have all of my students on here. And when I click on the one with the green dot, I can see what you wrote me and look. Awesome, Al. I'm glad to hear you're getting it. Gold. No, it's actually glad. Don't you love spell check? And then I send that message, and now look what happened. You got this message, but nobody else got it. So that's how you can ask me questions and get help and feedback when you need it. And remember, I'm in school uh, teaching the other cohorts Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays of regular weeks. So you probably won't hear from me till that evening or the next day. But this is the best way to communicate with me because I get these messages <clears throat> even before Google Classroom messages. And then some of the other features here, you can see um, your team. So there are all the teams for your class. This one, equipment is awesome when you level up. If you have enough gold, which by doing the introduction quest, you should have 500 gold. So when you get to level two, you can buy the level two gear. Also, don't forget to train your pet. Ooh, look, I get to start the next mission, so I'm going to click Start, because once your pets complete 10 missions, you can equip them over here. See, you go to Pet. Once I finish training it, I can click Equip It, and I'm going to look like that with my pet right beside me. So that's uh, these two buttons. Quest, very important. You know that's how you do your science work. And then Kudos uh, is really great. It's where you can send words of encouragement and show appreciation to your fellow classmates. Please write each other encouraging uh, notes, but be specific because I will approve them and publish them to the class wall like this if they are specific and you say exactly what you are grateful for. So don't just say, hey, thanks a lot for helping me out. No, be specific. Say thanks a lot for showing me how to sign up to Classcraft because I didn't know which one was my student code and if I should use my class code. Isn't that way better? Very specific. That's what we want to see here. 
So those are all the features. By now, you should be getting the hang of it. The next thing is we got to do some random events and get some excitement into our learning, right?